Welcome to Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Lincoln Financial Field, and it is indeed home to the 2018 Super Bowl champion Eagles. The link also is home to the Temple Owls. What we have in store today, a clash between a pair of AAC squads. As we'll see, the Florida Atlantic Owls taking on the 23rd ranked team in the land, the Temple Owls. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, joined here in the booth, as always, by David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Guys, let's tee this one up. Temple about to kick it off and get this game underway. And it'll be a touchback. The ball will come out to the 25-yard line. So the Florida Atlantic Owls offense will get the first swing of the game. When this guy comes onto the field, David, he seems to bring the it factor with him. So much fun as a play caller to have a guy you depend on, you trust. You know, Palmer, you're going to get the best out of this young man. He's also one of those guys, David, who just elevates everybody. Throws into double coverage and it's picked off. He was looking for running room, but they get him down to the 28, and now they are set up. Well, statistically, this defense is not one of the better units against the pass. They're trying to change that here today. What a great job tracking the ball down, making a play on it, stabbing it out of the air for a big interception early. That should be massive for their confidence. The hand to the running back. Knocked down after a three-yard gain to the 25. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. Off the play fake. Unloads to the wideout. He's got it. Perfectly thrown ball. Nice catch. Good tackle, but it's first and goal from the five. So, so close to cashing it in for this offense. He wants it all. And he's got it. Touchdown, Owls. I don't know exactly what the defensive coverage was, but it certainly wasn't part of the plan to leave him that wide open. Well, I don't, I don't think they know what their defensive coverage was either. How do you leave that big guy open down here in the red zone? You know the quarterback loves the big tight ends in this area. Really poor job by the defense. On to attempt to try. The kicker on for the extra point. And the PAT makes it 7-0. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And the score comes on a five-yard touchdown pass. Not going to give him a chance to make a play as they boot that thing through the end zone. The Florida Atlantic offense will return to the field. Well, let's see if this drive goes better than the last one. They were in and out quickly after the quick pick, David. Yeah, first play... Big mistake, man. Now, let's get this offense in a little bit of a rhythm. Maybe before you open it up again, Palmer. Or do you trust him right away? Uh, he seems to me like the guy maybe that just needs to kind of get into the flow of the game. So maybe you get the running game going here and just give him some easy looks to let him get lathered up. Encroach, encroach, defense. Defense. defense a little too eager. That's an encroachment penalty. Five yards for the offense. Second down coming up. With jet sweep pass. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. Well, and on these little push passes, timing is so important. You're trying to snap it right as he's getting a full head of steam. When he gets the ball, he's hitting the outside, and David. It puts the defense in such a difficult spot. You immediately have to be rotating when you see that motion. So everybody's got to communicate and kind of bump over. That's why offenses love to run. It just it makes the defense communicate and see if you can just get them out of a spot. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. They're able to put a stop to that return right at the 30-yard line. Temple takes over, and the offense will return to the field. That last drive really productive. David wound up with a touchdown. They'll try to do it again. Yeah, so I don't expect this offense to change too much, Reese. They had a great drive. They got the touchdown. Everything working. I would expect them to keep pushing this ball down here. And just imagine if they could put another touchdown on the board right here. They could capture so much momentum in this game with back-to-back -back TDs. And he's able to bounce off one tackle, but still not a whole lot of running room. Got three on first down. It's second and seven. Back to throw. It's Simon. 
Pressure coming. And they got him. He'll get him down for the sack. This is a third and long. When it's a play-action pass, that quarterback, he really has to sell the fake. He can't tell his offensive lineman's getting beat right away while he's selling the fake. He had no shot. Well, the quarterback and his intended target just simply didn't have the timing there. The ball falls incomplete on third, now setting up fourth down. His first one of the day gave that leg a workout five times in last week's victory. Boy, they had a chance to track that thing down, but it bounces into the end zone for a touchback. Ford Atlantic has the ball back, and the offense will try to put together a drive. Last time, David, it was one, two, three, kick. The last drive, that three and out, sometimes that puts your defense in a bad spot. You gotta get a drive together here so you don't wear the defense out. I just think, David, too predictable that last drive. They gotta do something here to get this defense on their heels. Touch pass on the right. He's close to the first down, but they're going to mark him just a little short. Yeah, listen, they didn't get the huge play off of that, but I, but I love the ability to show that and be able to show plays off of that, that jet motion and just show them you're willing to complete it. But, you know, get those little chunks. Hits the accelerator to the right. Inside the 30. The 10. And he'll take it to the house. He got loose. Touchdown, Florida Atlantic. Love the play call offensively. They knew the defense were crowding a lot of bodies close to the line of scrimmage, and once they were able to get into the second level, all they had to do was make one guy miss and get one good angle. And with the speed that ball carrier has, man, that thing was a sure shot touchdown. From inside his own 10, let's see what he gets. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. Temple takes over, and the Owls send the offense back onto the field. That last drive fizzled out, Jesse. They had to punt it. Yeah, they did. And, David, they're just going to have to do a better job this time around erasing the mental mistakes. And just trying to solve the defensive riddle, understanding what they're trying to do to you and attack them. They got nothing on the last play. It's second and ten. Back to pass. It's Simon. Got him downfield. Can anyone catch him? And they pick up a better than 30 yards on that completion before the defense brings him down. The feel of this whole drive changed on that last big play. They've got it first and 10 outside the 30. Smith takes the handoff. And you can forget running in the middle against this defense. Great team defense on that one play. Everybody doing their job. People winning their one-on-ones. D-linemen staying in their gaps. Linebackers and DBs filling. You just can't do it better. Grabbed over the middle. It's Smith. They make the stop, and that's how the first quarter will end. We played one, and we are right back where we started. All tied up after the first period as we take a look at the stats. They'll try to run for it. Finally pulled down, but not before. Moving the chains for a first down. Nice job by this offense, converting the third down. Listen, third and short, they know you're going to run the football, and they still did a great job being physical. Third downs has been such a struggle for this offense. Bottom 50, one of the worst in college football. Nice job on that play. Well, this defense felt coming into the game that if he was going to try to throw from the pocket, they could get to him and affect his accuracy, and they did on that last play. And the defense finally makes the stop after the sweet run and good game. Temple will line up with a first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. Dragged down at the six after a pickup of two. Now the offense tries to punch it in on second and goal. He'll run it up the middle, trying to pick his way to the end zone. He'll be brought down at the five-yard line, and this defense is on its heels. After this long of a drive, you have to cap it off with a touchdown, and here comes third and goal. It's broken up and almost intercepted on that shot to the end zone. It'll be fourth down. And the field goal unit is on the field. Splits the uprights right down the middle. And with that field goal, they now have the lead. So they were able to put up a three spot on that last drive. And now the kickoff team out there as they prepare to put boot to leather. 
on the move from inside his five. And he did a good job bobbing and weaving and finding a little bit of running room on that return. Ford Atlantic takes over again, and the Owls' offense will go back to work. Quarterback on the keeper. Powers through the defender. So runs like that that can really help your field position as they're up at the 35. After the good pickup on first down, let's see if they keep it on the ground. Fast motion from the offense. Quarterback touch pass on the jet sweep. Ran right through the defender, and now he's still running. To the 43-yard line and a first down for this offense. From the gun, leaves it on the inside with the back. He locked up and held on to bring him down. Got stuffed on first down and second and ten. Wide receiver coming across in motion. Touch pass on the jet sweep. Nice move there. And the defense, you hold your breath. When this receiver has the football out in space, you have got to make sure you're playing with outstanding pursuit. Nice job there, but as this game goes on, they've got to keep an eye on this guy and make sure they know where he is at all times. Shakes off the tackle. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. And the Owls are moving quickly down the field. Out of the gun, the inside handoff to the running back. Miles ahead for a pickup of one to the 32. Didn't get much on first down, it's second and nine. The clock has reached the two-minute mark, and they have a chance to at least cut into this lead before the break. Looking to throw, it's Fancher. Gets it out fast. There to make the tackle, but the big throw is good enough to give them a first down. Florida Atlantic will go to work with a fresh set of downs. They're in the red zone, and they'll pass it. Falls incomplete, and he did everything perfectly except catch the football. Second down coming. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. He's looking for an open man on second down. Catch in the middle. It's Tucker. He stopped just short of the goal line, but they'll have it first and goal from the one. And guys, how much better does it feel if you go to that locker room with a lead? They have a chance to do it here. The officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. The offense threatening. Close to the end zone now with a new set of downs. Back to the air one more time. And the quarterback caught up to and sacked at the 12. Quarterback just has to be more aware of the situation. First down, goal to go situation. You cannot take a sack. So the QB, if no one's open, you can... And the defense gets loose, bringing the heat, and down he goes again. A timeout is called as this offense tries to find a way to get more points on the board before the half. Third and goal coming up here. Looking to throw, and he needs a chunk play. They're trying to get to him. And this defense goes back to back sack, Jack. Timeout called here by the defense. It's the first one they've used this half. It's fourth down, and they'll try the field goal. And they weren't able to get him in the middle of the field, so now a 49-yarder from the right hash. And three more on the board, and this kicker is starting to get a reputation starting off the season. Hasn't missed yet. Nice to have a guy that you can really, really depend on. And he takes this from inside the five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. First down for the offense. The give to the back. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. This will likely be the last play of the half. Trying to get to it. Pass falls incomplete, and there are still three seconds left. One more play before the teams head to the locker room. On third and long, he's going to have to throw for it. Looking deep. 
He can't haul it in. Incomplete. They took a shot, but that's how we'll wrap up the half. Ford Atlantic will try to kick it deep and break the seal on this second half. And he'll bring it out of the end zone. He's brought down at the 16. Would have been much better off to take the touchback. Temple takes over and the offense will return to the field. First drive of the second half, always fun to watch. You see what type of tweaks were made at the half, especially when you're locked up in a ball game like this one. Yeah, and it's been a good game. I mean, it's been a little bit of back and forth and, and a feeling out process. And now once you get in the second half, who's going to get aggressive, Paul? Who's going to take some shots, try to make some plays, and really go for it? Yeah, it's, it's interesting. I think as play callers right now, you learn a lot about these coaching staffs with respect to who does make the best adjustments. There's a lot of coaches that believe we're just going to be who we are. We're going to keep doing what we do we're just going to do it better but then there are others that tweak things a little bit on offense and on defense we're going to find out here just a short pass to the tight end and he's not going to get there the defense stands tall and makes the stop you want to talk about aggressive or wacky this head coach is keeping his offense on the field inside his own 30 makes the catch past the sticks not much of a fourth down gamble when it's that much of a sure thing. An easy conversion for this offense. They've got it at the 37. It's first and 10. He's going to pass. Using his legs, keeping his eyes downfield. Holds it in. And he's brought down after a nice game. And it's so hard to be on the run and make an accurate throw. It's just very tough. Very few people can do it. I'm Again, we see the freaks and we see the highlights all the time, but that's a tough thing to do. He made it look pretty easy. The run to the left. And he was just showing off all of the slick moves before the defense finally got him on the ground. And here comes the offense on second down. Power football with the run. Tackled, but he has a first down. A lot of coaches put a lot of emphasis on situational type running. Right? When it's a goal to go to situation, short yardage situation, like when I need to run the football and they know I'm running the football. Right there, I haven't had a lot of success, but I needed a few yards to get the first down. Great job by the offensive line creating some space and getting the first down. After the misfire, it's second down. Throws to the tight end. And he got a hand in there, knocks it away incomplete. They were on the move, but two straight incompletions have them staring at third and ten. Looking to throw, it's Simon. Makes the grab over the middle. And he might be known for one pitch, but that was a sure and heavy tackle on the tight end. They're throwing for it on fourth down. Got it past the marker. And they finally get him to the ground. An easy conversion for this offense. Defense not exactly the perfect fourth down call there. Chains are set, and Temple has it with another first and ten. He's got it on the move. That completion will take it inside the four, and the offense is threatening. Operating in the red zone here on second down. They go to the ground. He pushes it forward all the way to the two-yard line. Not a lot of ground to cover and not much to defend. A big third down in the red zone. They'll try to pick up the first through the air. Makes the catch. Touchdown, Owls. And that one will put him up here in the second half. Love the thought process by the quarterback here on this play. Nobody open in the end zone. Find your check down. Find the running back. He does that, and once this guy's got the ball in his hands, he shows you that elusiveness and his ability to sniff out the end zone. We check in with Kevin Connors. What's going on, Kevin? Dynamite matchup this week, fellas. Let's show you what's going down. Notre Dame is getting worked right now in their own dojo. We've seen this team in a lot of big spots over the years, but I can't think of a worse beatdown. They're trailing by 16 to Virginia. We've got our eye on this one and everything else going on throughout the day. Nice. Thanks for the update on that one. Kevin, let us know when it goes final. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. Keeps it moving for a three-yard gain to the 24. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. Roll it, roll it. 
Grabbed in the backfield. It's Johnson. Slammed to the ground, but not before he gets the first down. Florida Atlantic gets to the line quickly. That was a really nice catch and an even better run after the grab. Yeah, and get that ball to your playmaker. What's good about having him in the slot is he can go either direction. You can get him matched up on somebody that's not as fast. And you watch, he can run away from those linebackers or safeties. Couldn't get a block on that last one. Now it's second and 14. Motion from the offense. On the ground, it's Campbell. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Well, the linebacker's showing you read and react. He knew exactly where that running play was going, and he beat the football to the line of scrimmage and forced the TFL. On third and long, he's going to have to turn one loose downfield. It's incomplete, and we'll change ends of the field now. Guys, it's Temple with the lead here at the end of the quarter. Let's take a quick look at the national rankings to see how this playoff race is shaping up. Florida Atlantic will send the punt unit onto the field. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. On the return, it's right. That's a perfect example of not settling for a fair catch. Pick up whatever yardage you can and help out the offense. They'll open this drive and snap it from the 44. Give to the running back. And a nine-yard gain on first down leaves him with second and short. They've got a lead here in the fourth quarter, and there's certainly still plenty of football to go, but this is where you'd love to control the flow of the game, right? You want to dictate everything to the defense, and you do that by running the football. That was a really nice run. This offensive line is firing off late. Looks like they're getting stronger as the game goes on, and that is a good sign for the offense. Now with a great opportunity as they pick up the first down, they've got it at the 40. This is one of the top 10 offenses in the nation in getting first downs. To do that, you got to have bounce. You can't always throw for it on third down. You've got to be able to run it as well. And they've got a dude in the backfield who just knows how to move the chains. And he is swarmed under a host of defenders there to make the stop. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Throws to the wideout. Grabbed in the middle. It's right. He's all the way down to the 27-yard line, and they are threatening. This Temple offense putting together a nice drive. They'll throw it on first down. Using the quick game. He is going nowhere. Stop at the line of scrimmage. Nice job, defense. You always hear people talk about tackling the catch. You saw it right there. There was nowhere for that receiver to go once he had possession. As a result, no game. He was able to reach into his bag of tricks and use it to pick up a few extra yards. Temple looking for a touchdown from the red zone. Back to throw, it's Simon. Swings it out to his running back. And they wrap him up, but not before he gets it up on the catch for the first down. Well, this defense has given up some big plays in this game so far, but they've got a lot of talent on that side of the football. Someone has to step up here, make a play, get a stop, and put their team in a position to win. Not much running room. He's got one down to the 12. Going to work in the red zone. They can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. He makes a grab. That completion will take it inside the four, and the offense is threatening. I love an offense that wants to stay aggressive. Even when you've got the lead late in the game like this, right, you still try to find your playmakers and get them the ball in space, and that is exactly what this offense is doing. And boy, is he close to that first down, maybe just a couple of inches short. It's fourth down now, and this likely the final snap before the two-minute warning. Couldn't quite nudge it in. Not sure you could get much closer, but it'll be first and goal. So this offense with an opportunity to put this game in a hammerlock if they can score and bleed the clock. He was open, he had it, and he dropped it. Would have been a touchdown. Instead, it's second down. Got stopped on first down. They'll try it again from the two. They'll try to blast their way in. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown out. That score might be the one to put them over the top and run this winning streak to nine. 
you know, late in the games, offenses sometimes get conservative when they got the lead and they got the ball. I love this offense. They were aggressive. They got another score added to the lead. Now you're trying to salt this game away. And the extra point is true, and they have a two-touchdown lead, up 14 in the fourth. And they desperately wanted to attempt a return, but decided not to. Instead, they'll take the touchback. The Ford Atlantic offense will return to the field. They hope to be able to cash in on this drive, David, after having to punt it last time. Yeah, and I think this offense needs to start it with the first play. You need to be successful and productive on that first play, and it gets you in less predictable situations. No doubt, too. Don't you just feel like there's a little bit more sense of urgency on this drive? It just feels like they've got to be able to put some points up on the board here. Right through his hands, you just have to make that catch, and it'll be third down. Now this offense tries to figure out a way to move the chains after the second down misfire. Caught over the middle, it's Johnson. Really nice pick up there as they have it out to the 44 with the first down. Clock is still running and they have to get everybody lined up. He'll just keep slinging it, feeling some heat. Just had to get rid of that one. Good job to fight another play. And the incompletion brings up a second down for this offense. To the air, it's Fancher. And a little too much adrenaline on that throw never gave his receiver a chance. The D thinking brings some heat on third and long from the 44. From the gun, wants to pass. A deep throw as the clock winds down. And they can't hook up on the big play, and that brings up a fourth down. They'll lead the offense out there to try to get it past the marker and pick up the first. On fourth down, they'll try to throw it. Snagged in the middle, it's Johnson. And he was just a couple of steps away from taking that one even further after the catch. The offense calls timeout. It's the second one they've used this half. Wants to throw on first down. Gets it out quickly. And good coverage by the defense, just a short game. Quick tempo, no huddle offense. Second down, clock's running. He's looking to throw. Strong pass rush gets to the quarterback, and they get him at the 46. They're at their fastest tempo trying to get off this third down play. Looking to throw, and he needs a bunch. Grabs it in the middle. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. Down in the fourth quarter, it's too late for empty possessions. They'll go for it on fourth down. Coming after it. And he sacked a big play on fourth down to stop this drive. And they're just about out of chances. The defense can stop it one more time as the quarterback takes a knee. We sensed a great deal of confidence, almost a smugness from this coaching staff. And these guys on the field, it's as if they knew they were going to win. Yeah, playing with a bit of a chip on their shoulder. And I think they really felt like they had a real good game plan offensively and defensively coming into this one, David. There were some matchups 